This is a review of my Pray the Scripture Bible. Uh, the one I have is navy blue. It has the Lord's Prayer on the design. And there is your ISBN number. It is actually put out by Bethany House. And you get this, it comes in this box. As you can see, it's quite a nice little box. Designs, and you've got information on the back of this about this Bible. And more than 4,500 4, scriptures. Well, for prayers, I, yeah, I'll get into that later. This is a King James Version. Okay. I'll just put that there. And here it is here. It's not, it's not a big book. It's not a big Bible. It's actually quite a hand-sized Bible. I will get a, I'll get a, I'll measure it for you. It is eight and three quarters long. Um, it's about five and three quarters wide. And it's about one and a quarter thick. And the, the, the word of Jesus is in red. It has a presentation page. Your font is around a 7.5. 7 it does have a side binding. And it has silver gilding on this. It did come with one ribbon. I actually took that ribbon out and put three in. Because you've got a nice silver on the side of it. It is quite lean. It is quite a nice made Bible. I mean, you don't really have... You know any tape there for the headbands but she is the same binding so pages aren't going to fall out on you it is a paper paste down that's only a paper it's not a cardboard it's just a paper you do have the presentation page but i've just got a date written on that the introduction on how to use this bible and how to use this bible there's your diagrams You do have an introduction to each book, which the introductions are actually quite good. They're just nice and basic and straight to the point. On the side here, they call these the prayer, you know, like your prayer scriptures or whatever they like to call them. I wouldn't actually call them a prayer. I'd say they're more like a summary of what you've just read, but you could actually use them, incorporate them into your prayer yeah but i wouldn't actually yeah they say a prayer the prayer scripture bible i think it's a little bit i think it's not worded properly but but um you got these all the way through you do have a fair bit of space here as well you know throughout it to actually make some notes if that's what you want it is a 7.5 font and there is quite a lot of ghosting but the ghosting isn't overly over, overbearing when you're reading this. I did find one problem with it. It does like go into the gutter a fair bit. And I've been using this Bible uh, uh, for a little while and yeah, I still can't, you know, it still still runs into the gutter. So they should have just moved the texas over a little bit on both sides so that it's not running so much into the gutter. It is a, like I said, it is a red text. Bible and it's actually quite a nice red in this and it's actually even quite surprised that it's actually even the red all the way through so is the printing on the black it's also even as well so it's quite a quite a nicely printed Bible it is printed in China I mean even though it's a 7.5 font it is quite readable see the red is actually quite even all the way through this now you do have these as well they call these authentic prayers well yeah like i said it just pretty much explains mercy where you find it in the bible and the text that you'll find it in um the verse sorry that you'll find it in and then it explains it a little bit and also a little bit on how you can put it into your into your prayer 
Now you'll find a few of these throughout the Bible as well. You've got one here on thanks. And another one here on guidance. And like I said, there's a few of these in here. There's about a dozen or so more, more in them. Now if we turn to the back, so you've got one here on grace. I'll just show you what you have at the back of this. You do have Revelations is in red as well. At the back you have a tropical prayer guide, which is actually not too bad. And it goes on for quite a while. And then you have your prayer scriptures. But I'll tell you actually where those little prayers or little notations on the side are in each in each book for you and just the contributors of this book. I mean it is a nice idea. I, the one thing this thing has going for it is that the subheadings are excellent. It's one of the best Bibles I've come across that has really good subheadings. That's one thing I really like about this. The subheadings in this thing are excellent. There's no um, cross references. And there's no textual notes or anything. Just got the word. And then you've got the... I would say they're notes. To me they're notes. It's not really a prayer scripture book, book or any Bible. It's more notes, I would say. And it's actually quite good because if you give this to a new person, a new believer... It actually explains a little bit, you know, with what they call them the prayer scriptures. It actually explains what you've just read a little easier. So, but you could take bits and pieces out and put them in your, you know, in, write out a prayer or whatever. You know, but yeah, I think it's the, the, the heading's a little bit deceiving. But other than that, it's actually quite a nice Bible. Like I said, it's. It's, um, it has the same binding. This Bible does retail for $65 here in Australia. And... I mean, really, with, with these sort of notes, uh, it, it sort of it gives you a starting point with your prayers. It also it, it gives you an idea on, on reflection. You know? So yeah, it, like I said, it is a quite a nice Bible. The paper is quite thin. There is quite a bit of ghosting, but other than that, it's quite a nice Bible. The print is actually quite good. And like I said, you can't beat those sub the subheadings in this Bible. And just remember, you only get one ribbon with this Bible. Like I said, I replaced these. I've replaced this with three ribbons. And you could do the same too if you didn't like just the one ribbon. And thank you for watching. That's the end of my review.